Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalayambal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vendi. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 2.7 in the chapter 2. We are going to solve problem using the steady flow energy equation. So, solving problem in steady flow energy equation, the learning outcome is at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problem in steady flow energy equation. <coughs> in the earlier three lectures, we solved a problem from uh, using the steady flow energy equation. The questions were taken from an INST exam question paper. So, here again we continue exam number, example number 11 from May 2010 examination. Air flows steadily through a water cooled air compressor at a rate of 0 0.7 kg per second. The air enters the compressor with a velocity 5 meters per second, pressure 1 bar and specific volume 0 0.9 meter cube per kilogram and leaves the compressor at a velocity of 3.5 meters per second, pressure 7 bar, specific volume 0 0.2 meter cube per kilogram. The internal energy of the air leaving is 100 kJ per kilogram more than that of air entering. Heat rejected to the jacket of cooling water is 65 kilowatts. Determine the following. Power required to drive the compressor and the inlet and the outlet pipe cross-sectional areas. So, product the padichu mudichonna, write down the given data. In the product the given data, mass flow rate of air m equal to 0 0.7 kg per second, velocity at the inlet v1 5 meters per second, velocity at the exit v2 3.5 meters per second, Pressure at inlet P1 1 bar which is 100 kilopascal, pressure at exit P2 7 bar 700 kilopascal, specific column at inlet 0.9, 0 0.9 meter cube per kilogram, specific column at exit 0 0.2 meter cube per kilogram, Speci specific internal energy U2 minus U1 equal to 100 kJ per kilogram and heat rejected Q equal to 65 kilowatts. Now substitute power required to drive the compressor, write down the steady flow energy equation m into 1 by 2 v1 square plus u1 plus p1 v1 plus q equal to m into 1 by 2 v2 square plus u2 plus p2 v2 plus w. Now, okay, w is the unknown. W is the power required to drive the compressor or work done for the compressor. So, w equal to rearranging w equal to m into 1 by 2 v1 square minus v2 square plus u1 minus u2 plus p1 v1 minus p2 v2 plus q. So, substitute the numerical values. m equal to 0 0.7, 1 by 2, v1, 5 meter square, 5 to the power 2, minus 3.5 square, minus u1 minus u2. It is 100 kilojoules per kilogram. So, u, u2 minus u1 is 100 kilojoules. So, u1 minus u2 equal to minus 100 into 1000. So, 1 lakh kilojoules joules per kilogram, plus p1, 100 kilopascal, 100 into 1000, into 0 0.9. V1 0 0.9 minus 7 bar 700 into 10 power 3 into 0 0.2 minus 65 into 10 power 3. So, calculating 0 0.7, first term 3.375, second term 1 lakh, third term 90,000, fourth term 1 lakh 40,000 minus 65 into 10 power 3. So, calculating the first term 0.7 into the values in the bracket, it is minus 104,997.6 minus 65,000. So, calculate pannam laka 16997.6 watts. So, dividing by 1000 minus 170 kilowatt. So, the power required to drive the compressor is 170 kilowatt. Area at inlet A1 equal to M1 V1 by capital V1. M1 into specific column divided by velocity 0.7 into 0.9 divided by 5 equal to 0 0.126 meter square. Area at exit A2 equal to M into V2, small V2 by capital V2, specific column at the outlet, velocity at the outlet, 0 0.7 into 0 0.2 divided by 3.5 equal to 0 0.04 meter square. The next question from May 2021 question paper. A blower handles 1 kg per second of air at 293 Kelvin and consumes a power of 15 kilowatt. The inlet and the outlet velocity of air or 100 meters per second or 150 meters per second respectively. Find the exit air temperature and pressure ratio assuming adiabatic conditions. Take Cp equal to 1.005 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So, product the given data. 
write down the given data. First step, write down the given data. Mass flow rate m equal to 1 kilogram per second. Inlet temperature 293 Kelvin. Power input to the blower W equal to 15 kilowatt. Velocity at inlet 100 meters per second. Velocity at exit 150 meters per second. Specific heat of specific heat at constant pressure Cp equal to 1.005 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. These are all the information given. Now exit temperature we have to calculate. So again steady flow energy equation. So m into 1 by 2 v1 square plus h1. In the z1 z2 values are not given. So, if z1 z2 values are not given, then we can delete the equation. 1 by 2 v1 square plus h1 plus q equal to m into 1 by 2 v2 square plus h2 plus w. So, w equal to, so q value is not given. Product is not given. Amount of heat transfer is also not given. So, m into 1 by 2 v1 square minus v2 square plus h1 minus h2. So, this is equal to m into 1 by 2 v1 square minus v2 square. H1 minus H2 equal to Cp into T1 minus T2. So, H equal to Cp into T. If you numerical value subset, W equal to 15 kilowatt, 15 kilojoules per kilogram, 15,000 equal to M equal to 1 into 1 by 2, 100 square minus 150 square plus 1,005 Cp equal to 1.005 kilojoules, which is 1,005 joules per kilogram Kelvin minus into 293 minus T2. So, left hand side 15,000. First term, 1 by 2 into 100 square minus 150 square minus 6250 plus 1005 plus 293 minus T2. So, solving this equation, T2 equal to 271.8 Kelvin. Now, the pressure ratio for adiabatic process, P2 by P1 equal to T2 by T1 to the power gamma by gamma minus 1, which is equal to 271.8 divided by 293 to the power 1.4 divided by 1.4 minus 9 equal to 0 0.769. So, the pressure ratio of the blower equal to 0 0.769. Next problem from November 2019 question paper. A centrifugal pump delivers 2750 kg of water per minute from initial pressure of 0 0.8 bar absolute to a final pressure of 2.8 bar absolute. The section is 2 meter below the below and the delivery is 5 meter above the center of the pump. Suction is 2 meter below and the delivery is 5 meter above the center of the pump. If the suction and the delivery pipes are 15 centimeter and 10 centimeter diameter respectively, calculate the power required to run the pump. So, product the padi chonna given data. First mass flow data, mass flow data water 2750 kilogram per minute this is equal to 45.83 kilogram per second. So, dividing by 60. Inlet pressure 0 0.8 bar exit pressure 2.8 bar, height of the suction from the center z1 equal to 2 meter, height of the delivery from the center z2 equal to 5 meter, diameter of the suction pipe t1 equal to 0 0.15 meter, diameter of the delivery pipe d2 equal to 0 0.1 meter. Now, area of the suction pipe a1 equal to pi by 4 d1 square, pi by 4 into 0 0.15 square equal to 0 0.01766 meter square. Area of the delivery pipe, A2 equal to pi by 4 D2 square. So, pi by 4 into 0 0.1 square equal to 0 0.00785 meter square. Velocity of water at the section pipe, V1 equal to mass divided by, mass flow rate divided by rho 1 into A1. So, M equal to rho 1 A1 V1, uh, rho 1 uh, A1 V1. So, this is rho 1 A1. So, 45.83, density of water is 1000. A1 equal to 0 0.01766 to 2.59 meters per second. Velocity of water in the delivery pipe, V2, the MRE equation, V2 equal to mass divided by rho 2 into v A2. So, mass 45.83, rho 2 density of water, it is 1000. A2, area in the calculate panel, 0 0.00785. So, calculate panel, V2 equal to 5.84 meters per second. Now, power equal to run the pump, again steady flow energy equation. So, M into G Z1 plus 1 by 2 V1 square plus P1 V1 plus Q equal to M into G Z2 plus 1 by 2 V2 square plus P2 V2 plus W. In the U1 value, U2 value given, not given. U1 value, U2 value, we will delete it. Q value not given. That is drop it. That is drop it. W equal to M into G Z1 minus Z2. W is the power of the pump. 
g z1 minus z2 plus 1 by 2 v1 square minus v2 square plus p1 by rho 1. So, p1 v1, v1 is a specific volume. Specific volume is equal to 1 by density. So, p1 by rho 1 minus p2 by rho 2. Numerical value substitute for namlaka, w equal to mass for it 45.83 into g 9.81. z1 minus z2. So, the height from the center, it is measured from the center, z1 equal to 2 meter, z2 equal to 7 meter. So, total height is 7 meter. So, z2 minus z2 equal to 7 meter, it is 0 minus 7 meter plus 1 by 2 into 2.59, v1 equal to 2.59 square minus 5.84 square plus 800. So, 8, 800 kilo Pascal into 1000 divided by density of water, water equal to 1000 minus 280, pressure 280 kilo Pascal into 1000 divided by density of water equal to 1000. So, simply open up 45.83, first term minus 68.87, second term minus 13.9875, third term 800, last term 280. So, calculating W equal to minus 20.034 watts which is 20.034 kilowatt. So, the power required to run the pump equal to 20.034 kilowatt. We stop here. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in another video lecture for solving problem in the steady flow energy equation. Until then, bye.